Everything has been set and I cannot believe this is happening. All the details of the rules are pretty much the same thing as what I said in my last video, except there is a change. The fight is not going to be an amateur fight that Mike Tyson even thought. Mike Tyson said before that the contest is going to be an amateur fight, but they happen to change it into a professionally sanctioned fight. This is going to count on their records. There is no knockout clause. They can knock each other out just like any other professional fight. And it puts the older Mike Tyson into more danger unless... The spirit of the dynamite kid just enters Mike Tyson's body for one last blaze of glory, knocking out Jake Paul. That would be the most insane thing ever if Mike Tyson still happened to get this victory and put on his record. Mike Tyson just has to imagine Jake was that one guy he was talking to at that one infamous press conference. Then he's getting the win for sure. This senior sniper cannot win this fight, man. It would be horrible to see him knocking out Mike Tyson in a professional fight and put on his record for him to gloat about it. I beat Mike Tyson. I knocked him out. And you know he's going to be arrogant about anybody bringing up his age. And because this is a professional fight, they're also going to have the judges to screw over the event as usual with these horrible boxing judges. Bro, if Tyson's winning the fight and the judges give it to Jake Paul, boxing as a sport is cooked at that point. Both Tyson and Jake have been wanting it to be a professional fight. We know Mike has that like competitive spirit and he wants to also promote it. Jake wanting it to be a professional fight is kind of weird. He's been posting on Twitter and stuff like what are you going to say now if you know once he knocks him out and stuff. We're going to say well you just knocked out a 57 year old retired boxer. What do you mean we're going to say? We're going to say the truth what it actually is and you're the senior sniper who keeps hunting down these older men. I wonder what your next one is going to be. Seven year old Larry Holmes? Vander Holyfield's next? Like line these old men up and I'll put them all asleep like melatonin. And this is what the promotion had to say about everything involved. Quote, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul signed on to fight each other with the desire to do so in a sanctioned professional fight that would have a definitive outcome. Over the past six weeks, MVP has worked with his partner to satisfy the requirements of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations to sanction Paul vs. Tyson. And we are grateful that we have gotten to this point. Unquote. What has happened to this sport? Why are they doing this? There's a 30 year age gap. What is going on. Like, I can imagine what the argument for making a professional fight would be. Yeah, sure, Mike Tyson is old enough to be Jake Paul's grandfather, but there's a difference in experience where Jake has only had several fights and none against a professional boxer besides Tommy Fury, who also is inexperienced. You know that real boxer Joe Rogan talked about that almost lost to KSI? Crazy to see that David Portnoy was actually correct in his argument against Joe Rogan about Tommy Fury, where Joe was trying to make it seem like Tommy Fury was some high-level boxer or something. Nothing against Tommy himself, but just that argument was so frustrating to watch. And it also speaks to Jake Paul's skills. He's actually not great compared to other professional boxers. And that seems to be what the, the promotion is using in order to put this fight together as a professional fight that Mike Tyson might actually get Jake Paul because Jake is not a high-level professional boxer either. Whereas Mike Tyson's been a champion. He's fought against some of the best boxers of all time. So sure, let's make it a professional fight. When the age thing is more important here, look at Vitor Belfort versus Evandro Holyfield. Sure, Vitor was a professional MMA fighter, but as we know with professional MMA fighters that are older as well, they got beat down by Jake Paul. Vitor is not a boxer and he absolutely destroyed the older Evander Holyfield. So the age thing matters way, way more. I don't know how they passed that. Tyson is literally over twice the age of Jake Paul and they made it a professional fight. Now he had to go through those tests to make sure that his heart and his brain are ready for a professional contest and somehow he passed it at 50 seven years old. I don't know if he was eating horse meat and got a bit of help there, but there are some other details about the rules here. It's going to be a heavyweight, so anything from 200 pounds and up is what they're allowed to weigh, which would be good for both fighters. They seem to walk around heavier than 200 pounds, meaning that's going to be a lot of power getting swung from both fighters. And we know with age, power is usually the last thing that goes, so Mike Tyson is even going to hold a bit of power that might even threaten Jake Paul if he connects. It's good to see him not cut weight and weaken their brains and muscles going into the fight, which would definitely hurt Mike Tyson way more than Jake, considering that he is much older. He would be easier to knock out he'll be slower he'll gas out even faster and i am kind of surprised jake didn't try to pull that off on mike trying to get every advantage he could so i guess there is some credit to jake on that if anybody asks jake why didn't he push for any kind of advantage over tyson he's gonna be like i want tyson at his best i don't want any excuses any of this stuff when we all know he's fighting a 58 year old man that alone is the advantage and that is probably the biggest advantage you can get over somebody it's a money grab at the end of the day he's using mike tyson's legacy and his name to get a bunch of money from this fight and promote it mike tyson 
Tyson also wants to be involved. He is an older guy, and we know older boxers usually do want to come back and prove themselves in some kind of way, as well as Mike knows for sure he's going to make a bunch of money off this fight as well. And what we know from Mike Tyson is he is looking really good. He's looking really fast, and it's an inspiration for anybody. It's absolutely madness to see this guy move the way he does. There's going to be eight rounds, and each of them are going to be two minutes long. This is very similar to an amateur fight, right? Amateur fights are usually like that, and the fighters are going to be using 14-ounce gloves, which are close to sparring gloves. Usually, sparring gloves for heavyweights are 16 ounces. They're going to be using 14, not that far off. They can still deliver knockouts and stuff because gloves are usually used to protect your hands, which is a big misconception about gloves in boxing. They're, everyone thinks it's just to protect the fighter's head, but it's more so used to protect the fighter hands from breaking and it looks like there's not going to be any headgear which is a good thing we never want to see that so there you go we know all the rules that are set it's a boxing fight just like any other or just according to the rules themselves someone's most likely going to get knocked out and honestly the only way anybody wins is if Mike Tyson beats him the fans win if Mike Tyson beats him, and so does Mike. If Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson, nobody wins. It's a loss for everybody, and I wonder who he's going to call out next. 57-year-old is his record. Maybe he goes to 70 years old for his next fight. I cannot believe they made it a professional fight. That is so insane. It'd be so messed up to see a loss on Mike Tyson's professional record. Losing to Jake Paul. Tyson's got to get this guy, dude. He can't let him keep getting his way against his older brethren. Now, do the changes of the rules here change my opinion in terms of who is going to win. I think it favors Jake, the fact that they can knock each other out. There's going to be judges in there as well. Tyson at his age is going to have questionable cardio, but also depends, is he taking any kind of um vitamins? Probably not though. He probably isn't. All natural Mike Tyson. Let's just keep going with that. But Jake himself doesn't have like amazing cardio either. So there is that. But I do ultimately think that the rules are going to favor Jake Paul's power, his speed, and his youth to take a shot, knowing that he hasn't been hit too much in the head or has ever gotten knocked out to weaken that chin. Tyson's gotten knocked out plenty of times. So I think that is going to help Jake win this fight. But I hope I'm wrong on that. I hope Mike Tyson gets it done. Bro, watch. Mike Tyson is going to be dipping Jake's right overhand that Jake loves to keep throwing at everybody he fights and crack him with the inside right hook to the jaw putting him down watch Mike Tyson's got it in the bag man we're just too we're just too worried about it you know Mike's got it in the bag he's got it in the bag guys there's nothing to worry about he knows what he's doing Mike please be on every steroid possible please you have to get on the supply man hit up John Jones or something so that's everything we know leading up to the fight everything is official and confirmed rules are all set we know the weight class we know the size of the gloves and all that sort of stuff so what's your opinion on it. What do you think is going to happen in this fight? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be competitive? Do you think a knockout is going to happen? Or is it going to go to a decision? Part of me feels like they're going to go easy on each other. I don't know why. Not that it's like part of the rules or something weird's happening behind the scenes, but it wouldn't surprise me if Mike Tyson and the senior sniper don't really throw full punches at each other, right? They don't go full out, kind of how Tyson fought Roy Jones. And that would make the fans way more upset than the fight even being announced in the first place. Mike Tyson has to go all out, right? He has to get this knockout. He has to try to win. If he's playing around with the Elder Eliminator, it would somehow even feel more like the fans got gypped. So at least, hopefully Mike Tyson goes for that knockout and tries to win this fight. He's got to do it for the people, man.